For today's two box penny hunt, we made a trade so that we could get some California boxes. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. Like I said in the intro, we've got a two box penny hunt today and both of these boxes are from the state of California, just north of the LA area. So Southern California and typically I find more S-minted weed scents and S-minted coins in those boxes. So I'm excited to get into the hunt. Now you'll recall in the last episode, we were able to add one more penny to the album and now we have 198 out of 234 pennies slotted in this book with 148 boxes hunted. This is gonna be episode number 82 and we've got boxes 149 and 150 in front of us. Now before I get them open, I do wanna thank Pine Creek Coins for the trade, I sent him two Texas boxes and he sent me two California boxes so that we could hunt each other's areas. Anyway, like I've said in several episodes, if you wanna start this playlist from the very beginning, I always have that playlist linked both down below in the video description as well as pinned up here for your convenience. In the meantime, these boxes are taped shut, so let me go ahead and get this one opened up and then we'll do a quick check. This is the tall boxes, so the rolls are laying sideways, but we'll just do a quick check to see if we have a good amount of copper or if we have uncirculated boxes. Let me do that now and then I'll bring it back when I've got the box open and positioned. All right, we've got the first box popped open. Definitely have circulated scents. I do see some copper enders, but I also see the zinc enders as well. To any extent, we're gonna slide the book out of the way. And at the end of the hunt, when I have all the finds on the board, we'll compare the finds to the album to see if we have any upgrades or additions. Let me go ahead and grab the very first row of the box. And as always, as soon as I have a find, I'll bring you guys back in. We're on roll number two and the box is not wasting any time. We have our first weed scent. By the patina, it looks like it could be old too. And it is old. Is that a teens 16? It's a 1916S right off the bat. 1916S right off the bat. I thought it was going to be a 16D, but I forgot. We got California boxes. We might see S mints. 1916S, first wheat scent found of the hunt, is a nice one. I don't know if we need it. I'm going to take a quick check and be right back. The 1916S is needed. I thought it was, but I wasn't sure because I knew I had a lot of the later teens years estimated wheat scents, but I didn't have a 16S. So we've got one for the book in the second roll. All right, let me close this up. Let's get back to the hunt and see how many more weed scents we can find. Roll number four, weed scent two, and by the reverse, it does look newer, and it is 1954, and I can't see that mint mark, and it is an S. I'm so accustomed to seeing Denver mints that sometimes I can't see the S very well, but that's a nice looking 54S. It's not red, but it's definitely in high grade. We'll take it, two S minted weed scents through the first four rolls, and we're doing good. Roll number nine, weed scent number three, kind of a cool patina to it. And that's gonna be a 1957 Denver. Roll 15, weed scent number four, I already saw it, it's a 1949, and this time it is a Denver. Roll number 18, and the fifth weed scent could be another oldie. We'll have to take a peek, the patina looks good. The wear looks good, and it is a 1910. I believe we need that for the book as well. It is a 1910. We have two teens weed scents, and we might need them both. We know we need that one. I haven't double checked this one yet, which I will do in a second and let you know. But five weed scents, two from the teen years, we're only 18 rolls in. We did not need a 1910. We needed the 1911. Back to the hunt. Roll 19. We'd sent six already. This one's a 1946 Philadelphia. Roll number 22. We'd sent number seven. We'd sent seven. Is that a 1941 Philadelphia? And it is. So we'll just quickly check it. 
for any of the DDOs that you can find, and I don't see it. We'll take it though. Seven wheat cents already in the box, two from the teens. We're not even halfway done. Roll 23, wheat cent number eight, reverse facing. And that's gonna be a 1942 Philadelphia this time. Just grabbed roll number 30 out of the box, flipped it around, and we've got a wheat cent ender. Let's see what year it is, and if it has any friends with it. That wheat cent ender will make wheat cent number nine, pretty good details. And it's another 1954 San Francisco, and I think I see a die chip in the nine. I do. 1954S, a little bit of a die chip. We'll take it. Roll 32 is going to have wheat scent number 10 for the hunt. And I didn't know it was a wheat scent because I couldn't see the date. It looked like it was copper and I flipped it. And it's definitely an old wheat scent. Let's go ahead and double check the date on it if we can see it. And we can. It's going to be a 1917. I can't see if there's a mint mark. Could be a mint mark there. But either way, we have all the 17s. And that's in pretty bad shape. More importantly, though, that's our 13s wheat scent. 32 rolls and while i have here i can already see it we've got a canadian scent i believe 1988 box is staying hot double digit wheat scents already roll number 34 and wheat scent number 11 could be kind of a nice one looks like it's in pretty good shape probably in the 50s in this condition and it is 1957 denver much better than the last 57 denver we found Roll 35, wheat scent 12 is going to be a 1956 Denver, obverse facing. Roll number 36 is going to have our second Canadian of the box, and it's going to be a 2001 Canadian scent. Roll number 49, and we're going to have our third Canadian sneaking in towards the end of the box, and that's going to be a 2000, and man, there's some gunk right at the date. I thought it was an 01, but just wanted to make sure it wasn't an 04. Third Canadian, 12 weed cents, one roll left. Well, that's going to do for the first box of this two-box California hunt. And you know what? It was a good box. 12 weed cents on the board. It got cold the last dozen or so rolls. Just found a couple of Canadians, but still a good hunt overall. And we did get three teens, a 1910, a 16S better date, and a 17P. I will say, though... No 30s weed cents yet again in a box. Three Canadians, 459s, a really nice 1978 Denver. Don't need it for the book, but it's still nice enough to hold on to. And only two 69s's. We didn't have any for the first like 20 rolls. And then we got a couple in the middle of the box and then none since. First box is down. I have to crack open the next box next. Let me do that, but instead of showing you the enders, if it's circulated sense, I'll just begin the hunt and bring it back with our first find in box number two. All right, we got the box open. Definitely circulated sense. The only reason I'm bringing you back in is I realized I forgot to tell you about the copper. Two pounds, three ounces in the first box. So hopefully we got enough copper in this box. Be cool to see five pounds. We'll have to see. Now I'll be back when I have a first find in box number two. Roll number 57 out of the 100 roll hunt. We don't have a wheat scent yet in the second box, but we do have another Canadian scent. And this Canadian scent is, it's going to be a 1992 125th anniversary of the Confederation. Roll number 58. We have our fifth Canadian scent of the hunt. And actually this box has more Canadian scents than wheat scents so far. It's going to be a 1994 Almost couldn't read it. Roll number 16. We finally have our first wheat scent of the second box. And judging by that reverse, could be an oldie. Let's go ahead and take a peek. Wheat scent number 13 of the hunt is going to be a 1917 San Francisco, I believe. And it is unbelievable. And I was just looking at those teens wheat scents, and I believe we actually needed a 17S as well. We are going to have the 16S and the 17S in the hunt, and that's actually a pretty nice looking 17S. I know it's a little bit worn, but at the end of the day, for 105 years old, that's actually got decent detail. What a beauty. 
Let me add that to the board. I'm gonna double check to see if we need it. And if we do, we'll have 200 cents slotted at the end of this hunt. And we still have 40 more rolls to go. I'll be back in just a second after I check the book. 1917 S slot, not filled. Yes, we needed it. Back to the hunt. Well, we're on roll 62 and I did not notice this sweet scent because of how shiny it was until I pretty much got up on top of it. Weed scent number 14 is going to be a shiny one. Weed scent number 14 looks like a beauty. Probably going to be a 58 with that kind of luster. But let's just see. No. What? 1945D in BU condition. I will be checking that one against my personal collection first. And if not needed, we'll upgrade the current Hunt and Fill books. I am at a loss. Wow. Let me get it in a flip so we can appreciate it a little bit more without me touching it. I'll be right back. All right, we got it in a flip. I just wanted to take a quicker look at it. Man, that is a beauty. Let's get out of the light and just use the room lights here. Man. Yeah, that's an upgrader. That has uh, recently, like this has just been dumped in from someone's collection. And I can't believe I get the roll that has it in it. Wow. Wow. 1945 Denver, roll number 12 of the second box. It's been a slow box, but we got a 1917 S lower mint and a 45 D stunner. Let's keep looking for more. Roll number 72, wheat scent number 15, and I believe it's a 46. And it is, and it's a 46 S, I think. So if it's a 46 S which it is, we can check for that S over D, but I don't see an S over D. So 1946 S, 15th wheat scent of the hunt. Roll number 76, wheat scent number 16. It's just gonna be a 1956 D, but in pretty decent shape. Roll number 77 and wheat scent number 17. Might be another oldie. Looks pretty slick by the reverse. And it's going to be... It is another oldie. A teens with the mint mark. And that is a 1915D. What is up with being able to find teens weed scents easier than finding 30s weed scents? I don't think we need a 15D, or at least I'm not sure. I'll have to check the book. We need so many in the teens and so many with mint marks. We probably do need it. Let's double check that one as well. And that, other than the 1910, is the oldest weed scent of the box. And we still have 23 rolls to go. We already had a 15D, but that one might be an upgrade from the one I have in the book. Back to the hunt. Roll number 85. Wheat scent number 18. I already saw it because I didn't think it was a wheat scent. I thought it was a copper scent with some gunk on it. But I flipped it around and saw that it had a wheat scent reverse. This one's going to be a 1948 San Francisco. First from that year. But obviously not our first from San Fran. Roll number 96. Wheat scent number 19. One away from 20. Could be another oldie, but it's just going to be another 1954 Denver for the board. Well, we're on the last roll of the box, 100 for the hunt, and um, this was the end coin, and the second and third coins in are weed scents. So weed scent number 20 for the hunt is going to be a 1944 Denver and I will check it for that D over S. I don't see it. It's a pretty beat up scent anyway. But 1944 Denver and weed scent number 21 is going to be 
I think that's a 57D or is it a 47D? It's a 57D. And uh, we already have a couple of those on the board. 21 weed cents. Last roll of the hunt. Let me see if I have anything else. Otherwise, I'll be back with the wrap up. We have finished those two boxes from California. And again, I want to thank Pine Creek Coins for the two box trade. I only hope that you have as much fun hunting my two Texas boxes as I did hunting your California boxes. In total, we had 21 weed cents, a handful in the 50s, a handful in the 40s, none in the 30s, but five in the teens. And we'll get to those. I'm super excited about this 1945 Denver. I went ahead and checked it against my personal collection, and it's about equal to the one I currently have in my album. So really, the only two courses for this one would be to submit it for grade, which there's no reason to do, or go ahead and use it in the book, which I will do. And if you're wondering why wouldn't you submit it for grade, even in a mint state 65, that's going to be a 4 or $5 coin. So it doesn't matter about the submission. As far as the oldies, a 1910, a 1915D, a 16S we need for the book, a 17P that has damage, and a 17S we need for the book. So a couple for the book there, probably an upgrade there, and who knows what else here. Five Canadians, seven 1959s. I get asked a lot why I pull them out. I keep transition your sense, plus they're copper, so I pull them out regardless. Two nicer, shinier copper memorial scents, a 77 and 78 Denver. We'll keep those for the rolls. Four 69Ss, two in each box. Surprisingly, I usually get four in a California box, but I only got four in a two-box hunt, so definitely less than normal. As far as copper, three pounds, 15 ounces, so just under four pounds. It was actually three pounds, 15.3 ounces. So continuing with that two pounds of copper per box for the West Coast and my area, of course, we see a lot more in the Northeast. Now that we've got everything on the board, now that we've covered the recap, let me go ahead and get the book and see how many additions and upgrades we have and then give you guys a final look at the book with some final thoughts. We have compared the finds to the album, and I'm pleased to announce we're going to have two upgrades and two additions. The two upgrades are going to be the 45D, of course. I will tell you, it's a little painful sticking in a BU 45D into a cardboard album, but at the end of the day, I already have a nice one, and we did stick a pretty nice 46D in here not too long ago. So a 45D upgrader is in the book as well as the 15D, we alluded to it. The one in the book was pretty slick, and so is that one, but the reverse of this one's nicer, and the one we had in the book had a rim ding right at his jacket. So overall, that makes up for it, and we'll go ahead and put it in there. As far as additions, the 16S and the 17S, a quick look at them in the book. The 16S is right here. We'll take that all day of the week, and the 17S is right there, and that's actually a really nice 17S. Two San Francisco minted teens weed scents for the book. That's why I like having trades with other areas, because I probably would never have found these in my area, or at least it might have taken a lot longer. I will say it's not lost on me that we now have 150 boxes hunted and 200 of the scents slotted. You'll remember that I have been saying that I was hoping to hit 200 cents slotted by 150 boxes for quite some time. Odd that we did that, even though it took an out-of-state box hunt to do it. I'll take it. We're going to keep going now. We have found three slaughters, I believe, in the last two or three episodes, so you never know what the next box will hold. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this two-box hunt. I know I did. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching.